What's up guys? Welcome to today's video. Today's actually Monday and it's in the late afternoon after work. And Monday is typically always my recovery day. And today's actually no different. And I really need this recovery day today because yesterday was a white lightning XC race. And last week kind of just really nailed in the fatigue. So today I'm trying to take it a lot easier. But what I like to do on a lot of Mondays is catch up on a lot of things that I miss out doing during the week because I'm so busy with work and writing. It's like cleaning the house, catching up on laundry, cleaning the kitchen, normal typical stuff. But another thing that I really like to do is wash my bike. Sometimes I do this twice a week just depending on the conditions that I ride in or if I'm racing or something like that. So this is just a couple of like quick really easy things that I do to my bike to kind of keep it kind of keep it running pretty smoothly. Nothing too specific or crazy, just very easy, small maintenance things that I do. So the first thing I'm gonna do is give it a bath because you should try to watch your, you should try to wash your bike on a regular basis because it will reveal some problems. For example, last year I was washing my bike and discovered there was a crack in the frame. Um, not like a major crack or anything like that. It was more just kind of like on the surface, but I had to actually warranty my frame because of it. Also make sure to clean the drivetrain on the bike and I actually do that first before washing the bike. So I rinse it and then I clean the drivetrain and then I wash the bike. And the reason I do it in that order is that when you clean the drivetrain, sometimes you can get dirt like around on the frame and stuff like that. So if you had cleaned the frame first, then you might have to reclean it depending on how greasy your drivetrain is. I noticed a really big difference by keeping my drivetrain clean on a regular basis, especially like you wanna watch the cogs in the derailleur because they can get gunked up really easy, especially depending on like if you use a wet lube and if you use too much, then it just attracts dirt. So keeping that stuff clean, like I feel like they run smooth, like I can feel it. And to me, that's what, so it makes a big difference. So yeah, let's get this baby cleaned up. I basically have this little bucket that I keep all kinds of stuff in to wash the bike. In here I have car wash <laughs> soap. That's what I use on the bike. Kind of has like a little bit of, kind of like a wax effect. So trying try to make it a little bit cleaner. I've got a couple different types of degreaser. I have brushes, sponges, like stuff like that. Every Kind of like the normal stuff that you need. I'm using the Muck Off Drivetrain Cleaner. I find that this works pretty good. Just spray it on, spray it on the cassette, get the chain, if you're gonna scrub the chain, and the chain ring here. So I typically give that a minute or two to set, and then I just start scrubbing with this little scrub brush. You could just use an old toothbrush instead if you wanted to. But yeah, just try to get it as cleaned up as much as possible. I have this really handy chain brush that I like to use. All cleaned up. Part of the reason that I'm washing it right here is because I'm also watering the flowers at the same time while I wash my bike. I'm really washing my bike and the, the landscaping is just benefiting from it. So yeah, now that it's cleaned up, I am going to do a couple more things to make sure everything's good to go. The next step I like to do is actually do a kind of like a really rough drying of the bike. I just, it's fine. I just figured to wipe off the excess water. It really takes no time at all. It's pretty much drying like the frame and the fork and the front bars. I like to dry my brake levers. All right, so the next thing that I'm going to do is actually check the wear of my chain. This is the Park Tool CC2 Chain Checker. The reason why you want to check the wear of your chain is that in case you don't know, your bike chain wears out over time. I don't check this every time that I kind of do this weekly maintenance, but I do check it more often when I know it's getting closer to being worn out you don't want to let your chain wear out because it will it will wear down your cassette and your chain ring a lot quicker uh, to use the cc tool we set it to zero we just put it between the links my chain's still reading at 0.5 so not quite ready to be replaced yet one of the things that i like to do is lube my chain right after i wash it because that way it doesn't set with water on it now that I, especially since i've degreased it pretty much has no lube on it and if I go and put lube on it, it doesn't seem to rust because of the water that's on there. And the next time I ride, I don't have to think about lubing it. I just kind of apply it. I don't go crazy with it. You want to lube your chain. You want your chain lube, but you're really just trying to get the lube down in there. You don't want the lube like all over the, ex the outside of the chain. So once you get the lube in there and you give it time to settle in, 
you really wanna wipe it off the chain so that it doesn't collect all that kind of grit. Cleaning your bike, you become more familiar with it, and if you have issues with it, it helps you correct those before your next ride. That's really the goal, is to have your bike ready for your next ride so that when you wanna to go to ride, you're not having to figure out what's wrong with it or take it to the bike shop to have it worked on. When you are regularly checking your bike and cleaning it and doing the maintenance on it like this, then that helps a ton. So this is like little things that anybody, any kind of level you can pretty much do yourself from home. One last thing that I like to check on the bike during these little weekly checkups is I like to spin both the front and the rear wheel, make sure they're spinning freely, that the brake isn't dragging and that the brake pads look good. Now, I just put new pads on it not too long ago, but I still like to take a look down at them to see how they're wearing. I don't take the, I don't take the pads out and check them this early on, but when, I, when it gets closer to time to replace them, I try to check them a lot more often for wear. Just checking to make sure that the wheels are spinning freely can save you a lot of pain in the future. Okay, this is not bike maintenance, but before I put the camera down for the day, I just kinda wanna show you guys what I do to keep the garage gym clean. Now, the garage is not insulated, so bugs get in here, there's spider webs, the bugs, you know, they are attracted to the lights and they die and they fall on the floor and dirt and dust. You have all this just stuff, you know, that gets dirty so quick. I've discovered the easiest way to clean it is to use a leaf blower and just blow it all out. works way better than I ever expected it to. So now I'll put the camera down. See you guys in the morning. Good morning guys and welcome your faces to today's video if you can't tell i'm still feeling good from the morning strength the morning strength session today's tuesday which is normally a pretty good training day for me so i'm just getting ready for work haven't straightened my hair yet so it's a mess but i wanted to film my breakfast this morning because i usually eat the same thing like all the time but this morning I'm, I'm i've been tr slowly trying to add more veggies to just different meals and so this morning i've been eating um a whole egg with two egg whites and i was like and you know just making them scrambled and i was thinking i should probably put spinach in here and really like you know veg out so i'm gonna make my first attempt at cooking spinach in scrambled eggs really cooking spinach at all i usually just eat it raw or in a or in like a recovery shake or something but anyways yeah, let's, let's get this spinach scrambled egg mix going. So first thing, just getting a little Pam coconut oil spray going here. So I'm kind of in a phase right now where I'm tracking my macros really closely and watching what I eat because I'm actually trying to eat at a little bit of a calorie deficit. So I'm actually gonna weigh my spinach, but no, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna weigh it. All right, I'm just gonna, we're just gonna wing it guys. There's really no point in weighing this because the whole package is five carbs. So that's not really that big of a deal. I just don't want to add too much since I've not done this before. I don't want to overdo it. I'm just gonna cover it to make it cook faster. All right, it's starting to wilt a little bit. So I'm going to get my eggs whisked. I'm gonna get my eggs whisked up in a separate bowl so I can just pour them in. Now I'm just going to set the scale to zero and put in my two egg whites. All right, moment of truth. I'm now late for work by filming this little cooking video and it took longer to cook, but let's see if it was worth it. It's pretty good. Um, it definitely doesn't make it any worse and it kind of gives it like kind of um, a fresh feeling, I guess. So yeah, I think I'll, I'll give it another shot. <laughs> but now that I'm late, I'm going to eat breakfast real quick and get to work. Of 
All right, guys, it is the end of the workday. I'm here at the Bo Beckett Memorial Trail, and I'm about to get in just a little trail ride with Kevin. Uh, still pretty fatigued today, so I'm not going to resume normal training just yet. This trail is pretty tight, twisty, flowy. There's not a lot of climb, so it doesn't take a lot of effort to do. So I think that's going to be a really good way to get some miles on the bike and still you know, a little bit of training, but not too much. And this is really great training for the next race, which is the Her Persons XC in time trial. Uh, it's kind of flat twisty too. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get ready for the ride. And I'm not going to take the GoPro today. I'll just give you an update after the ride's over. Just finished up the ride. Just an easy loop on the Bow Beckett Memorial Trail. And my legs, they already feel better. That's, that's the good thing about when you're fatigued and you're tired, but you want to get on the bike. Doing an easy ride can actually help you so much. So tomorrow is just going to, I'm going to kind of get back into my normal training routine. I'm not going to try to adjust it any. So that's going to be the end of today's video. I hope you guys liked it. Give it a thumbs up if you did, and I'll see you on the next one.